friends, it's Matt with Bowls, and today we are taking a look at a handful of smaller Munchkin expansions. Not too long ago, we took a look at one of the latest Munchkin releases, Munchkin Warhammer Age of Sigmar. So if you're new to Munchkin, I recommend checking that video out. But for the rest of us, let's jump right in into our first small box expansion to Munchkin Age of Sigmar, Chaos and Order. This small box expansion includes 112 new cards, which mix in perfectly with your Munchkin Sigmar game. Most notably, this expansion adds two new armies to the game, Corn Bloodbound and Caradron Overlords, as well as plenty of new toys for both. The Bloodbound's main ability allows them to draw a face-down door card anytime they enter combat. This means that if they ever don't find a monster to fight on their turn, they'll almost certainly have one ready in hand. To help them through any combat they might find themselves in, the Bloodbound players could wield any of the new treasures from this expansion, like the Axe of Corn or even the All Slaughter. But if Blood and Gore make you a mite queasy, the Caradron Overlords might be for you. Their main ability allows them to immediately sell any items they gain in a trade, even if it's not their turn. Whether it's the Rapid Fire Rivet Gun or the Grunstock Gauntlets, just to be sure to follow Article 2 of the Caradron Code so everyone gets a fair share of the Galcron. Moving on to our next expansion, which takes place a couple years later, this Munchkin Warhammer 40,000 Colts and Cox. This expansion adds Gene Stealer Colts and Adeptus Mechanicus to your Munchkin games. The Gene Stealer Colts main ability enforces a cumulative minus two penalty on all non-Gene Stealers for each other Gene Stealer player in the game. So if you're getting annoyed by this constant minus two penalty to your, all your combats, you could always get infected and give everyone else a total of minus four penalty to their combats. Starting to sound pretty good, right? Just think about it and get back to me. But if being part of an oppressive collective where each individual can barely think for themselves, why not join AdMech instead? Their main ability allows them to gain an additional bonus level if they can carefully calculate a path to victory in combat by just a single point. And if your feet are getting tired from all this walking around and battling, you can always hop in one of the many vehicles provided, like the Knight Gallant or uh, Goliath Ridge Runner. And I didn't mention this before, but both of these expansions also come with additional monsters in the full range of levels. But enough about Warhammer Munchkin, let's get back to our roots with Munchkins and Mazes, which to be fair, isn't real in expansion. It's got everything you need to sit down and play a full game. But that doesn't mean that this box isn't filled to the brim with new gags and references that you've come to expect from Munchkin. Whether it's a certain gameplay setting, or popular D&D podcasts, or video games, or even real-world products, Munchkin always delivers on comedy. Which brings us to our final expansion, but also not really an expansion. The Munchkin Kilometer is a power tracker which helps players and monsters keep track of the ups and downs of their combat strength within each combat. As players start chucking one-shot items back and forth, typically in the potential final minutes of the game, it can be tough to keep track. But the Kilometer makes that a non-issue. It's probably actually pronounced Kilometer, but I think it's funny to pronounce it Kilometer and you can't stop me. And that's everything we have to cover. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe for more tabletop updates from Bulls. Thanks for watching. Bye. Click to subscribe. Check out more videos. And thanks for watching.